We actually need more Bonhoeffers. We need more uh, Niemollers and, and preaching and, and, and being bold in, in, in the midst of a dying and decaying culture. Moms and dads, don't give up. Because I'm, I'm tempted to do that. You look at the news, you say, what is the point? What is the point? But remember, you plus God is a majority. There's no majority above God. We need people to stand up and be bold, to pray and pull down heaven. The church is sleeping, lulled to sleep. How are we lulled to sleep? Well, here's a few ways. The NFL, Avengers, Game of Thrones, smartphones, whatever it is, rock a bye, baby. Shane, you're saying I can't go to the movies? Of course not. But if all you do is get your mind focused on today's culture, today's world, today's media, you love the things of the world and do not love the things of God, God, then you do have a problem. Because you cannot serve two masters. The Bible says you either love one and despise the other or be loyal to one and hate the other. You cannot serve both God and this world. Where are your affections going? Where is your love? Where is your heart? Where is compassion? Where, where do you drift in the right direction or towards the world? It's, it's very clear in Scripture. Where there is no holy living, there is no Holy Spirit. Did you know you only pray as well as you live? Ian Bounds said this many years ago. I highlight him. He, he is absolutely right. Of course, he goes on to explain it better. But you're, you, you, you pray as well as you live. In other words, you show me somebody holy, filled with God's spirit, living for God, they've got a prayer life that's powerful. Somebody who's carnal has no prayer life. Your prayer is only as powerful as your life. They go together. Holy living produces Holy Spirit-inspired prayer. Nobody's going to live carnally all week and then come and fall on the face before God for an hour and a half and pull down heaven and contend for their family. Why? Because they go, that's boring. Listen, it's true. Thank God not in this church a lot, but out there. I, I believe I run into more people out there and, and ministry out there is just as much. But I run to people and they say, pray for my son, pray for my daughter. I say, I will, but have you thought about fasting and coming to early morning worship and, and spending, oh no, I can't do that, I'm too busy. Fasting, I love Burger King. See, we want God to move, but we don't want it to cost us anything. David said, I will not give God something that costs me nothing. Really, the cost shows the seriousness of the commitment. When something, when we're serious, when we're serious, if we can instantly swap the Chinese government with our government overnight, you'd become very serious. I bet we could fill up this church every morning for prayer because the seriousness of what's going on. 